Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. That means that it's time for another episode of ZNX Tuesday. And that also means we're going to finish Dobby. We're going to finish our little Dobby. I mean, our Dobby part is finished, but we're going to make his book with his sock that I thought was his penis, but it's not. And then we're going to also make the little cake that goes with him. It's going to be great. It's going to be so fun. I'm excited. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Um, It would help if the mouse was on so I could see everyone. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Hi, Mr. White. Hi, Sizzle Chest. Hi, Slosher. Slosher, there. Wait, what are we talking about? Are we talking about what are we talking about? My boobs? They're huge. They're giant. And Courtney Russ with a golden. Oh, golden shower boy. Thank you so much. I'm getting showered with golden shower boys. And everybody knows how I feel about those. I love them. I love them so much. Uh, and then I also got a golden shower boy with love and hugs from Backhand. I saw it backhand. Backhand, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then Slosher, also golden shower boy. Look at this. Look at the golden shower loves I'm getting. Thank you so much, Slosher. Feel the love. Get better. I am feeling better. It still hits me in weird waves, but it definitely feels like it's getting better. It's not as much. It's not as much. It's not as often. And also, also, it's... um less green. This morning it was bright green and I still like, bleh, and it was a lot and it was gross. But as the day went on, it feels like it's getting a little bit better. So fingers crossed. This is the tail end of it because I can't be sick anymore. I'm losing my absolute fucking mind. I'm depressed as a motherfucker because guess who can't go anywhere or do anything because you not have any energy and she's sick and she had fever. Nah. Me. <laughs> so stupid. Tired of being sick. Tired of being sick. Slasher, thank you so much. And Courtney Russ and Backhand, thank you so, so, so much. So many golden shower boys. Hi, Saw. Hi, Johan. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's here today. This is very excited. Hi, Joe Kasnow. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm never late. I'm like a wizard. I arrive precisely when I mean to. Hi, Mr. Sizzle Chest. Welcome to the stream. Na, 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 na. I still don't have a watch. Na, 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 na. The cake is, yeah, no more cake for me either, by the way. Hi, Walter Johnson. I've still been eating like a garbage trash person. And again, I used to be able to get away with eating like a garbage trash person when I was working out and lifting all the time. But guess who hasn't been doing that in two months? Me. Hi, Jimmy Harris. Hi, John Edgar. Welcome to the stream. You guys, Douglas Dauntless, Alexander. K9 Taze. Hi, K9 Taze. Thank you so much for the golden shower boy. Is that not a golden shower boy super chat? No. All right. I also have all this pipe like pent up just being sick, like sick and sitting around that's driving me absolutely bananas. Uh, K9 Taze. Hi, you sound better. I do feel better. It's not 100%, but it's real fucking close. It's real close. Every once in a while, I'll get an itch and like all the snot will come out. But for the most part, it's pretty good. It's been pretty good. Canine taste. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ditterson is here. Hello, Ditterson. I feel like we haven't seen a Ditterson in a minute. 3388. So close to bikini. Well, that's not a plus, Daniel. This isn't a plus. That's not a good thing. That's my waters. My waters. That's how I want to sound. I don't know if you know that, but it's true. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to finish some stuff. Thank you, Daniel. Hi, Mindless of Indulgence. Hi, Joe. Oh, my goodness. And then another green boy from Courtney. Courtney, thank you so much. He says, looking great and sounding a lot better. Thank you so much. I put makeup on. I still feel like a chonky little miracle. I don't feel like a chonky little miracle. I am a chonky little miracle. It's fine. Don't worry so much about it. I'm talking to myself. I'm not going to stop worrying about it. It's whatever. Um, thank you. So I do. I do feel a lot better. Like I said, it comes every once in a while. But it's really not as bad. Nowhere near as bad. Still a lot of blood going on in there, though. Like a lot. Like I just have bloody bugs. Is just seems to be what's going on right now. Hi, cool gamer. And it won't stop. I'm getting real sick of this shit. Courtney, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello, Walter Johnson. Hi, Pepito. Want some cheese with that wine? Uh, yeah, give me some cheese. I always want cheese. Is that even a question? Hi, Black Button. Hi, Sean Dennehy. Lady Marine. Hi. 
Hi, welcome to the stream. Portal is here. Hi, Ken Kniff. Hello, 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 hello. Sean Dennehy is here too. Oh my goodness. Zia's Puffy Nips. Hi, everybody's here today. This is so good. This is so, oh. Uh. Oh God, Johan. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me and want me to be old? Hi, Cam Dog. What's up? Uh, Russell, huh? Two from Russell. Do you think you might be allergic to your new titties? I don't know. If I am, I got to get some sort of allergy therapy or some shit because they're not coming out. These puppies ain't coming out. They're goddamn giant. I forget how I forget how big they are, to be honest with you. Hi, Philium. I forget how big they are. Say Ditterson in a minute, 10 times fast. Ditterson in a minute. Ditterson in a minute. Ditterson in a minute. Ditterson in a minute. Minim, 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 minim. Ditterson in a minima. All right, I'm scrolling down. Hi, Matt Amos. Hi, Matt Amos. I like that mindless self-indulgence. I haven't been to the gym in forever, but who cares? Because look at these tits. Hi, Danny, the foot. I'm tiny. I'm 5'2". I'm a, I'm a small person. I'm a little human. A tiny human. All right, you guys, it's time. We're doing this. We're building the thing. Blend this not means you're... Hi, Melissa. Means your immune system is winning. No blood means the war is still going, ongoing. You know what? I, that sounds... I'm just going to believe you. I'm just going to believe you. That sounds right. That sounds right. That sounds right. Is it possible he dropped a junior mint in there? Russell Hall, thank you so much for the super hat. Super chat, super hat. I would also like a super hat. Thank you very much. Let's build this for Dobby. Um, Yeah, it's very possible. I mean, you never know. So people were observing. What if someone was eating a junior mint and it fell inside? It's possible. It could happen. It could happen. <sighs> All right. Absolutely fantastic, Chem Dog. We love to hear it. All right, let's build this book, y'all. We have a Dobby. We have a stand. There's a sign on the stand. Now we just need a book. Now we just need to build this book. Don't need that anymore. Here's the sock. We already built the sock. I love how they have you build the sock first. Bum, bum. We're going to build another other thing, an other thing. Yeah, like a super hat. Exactly like a fucking super hat. I'm over here going foot the whole time, Johan. The whole time I'm footing up over. I'm footing up the foot. Uh, so yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did get back to some of my correspondence today. I had a friggin... I was looking through my messages and I was like, oh boy, your girl's falling off the train. The train of God has gone off the tracks. Gets to see my stepmom this Saturday, so that's really exciting. I'm very excited about that. Excited to see Aditi. Her name's Dino. We call her Didi. So we're going to see her today. Okay. I mean, not today. On Saturday. We're going to see her on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday night's all right for fighting. Na, 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 na. All right, here we go. Here it is. Here's this. And then we need this guy right here. Hi, Big Ten. Welcome to the stream. Hi, James Evans. Um, Let me just make sure, make sure, make sure. Hi, Outlaw 2. Feel it right there. All right, there we go. Look at that. We got one thing done already, y'all. We got one thing done already, y'all. Five of those. Five of what? Five of these? Saturday night's all right for fighting. Da -na 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 -na. All right, all right. I'm going to do all of them. You guys, this is going to be so good. Dobby's going to have his little book. We're going to have to find a place to put Dobby. That's the thing. We're going to have to find a place to put Dobby. And he's got to be somewhere cool where he can be displayed. Oh, look at this. <coughs> Rammer, Rammer919, thank you so much for the super chat. That's two from Rammer. He said, hey, Zia, what's your favorite video game ever? That is a very, very tough question. 
Um, God. Maybe Ocarina of Time. Maybe Oblivion. Maybe. Maybe Bioshock. I don't know. That's a really hard answer. That's a really tough because a lot of the times it's, let me tell you right now, uh, nostalgia plays into that. Nostalgia absolutely plays into that. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Easter virus in full effect family time. Oh, no. Oh, Easter visits. I thought you said Easter virus. I was like, there's a sickness going around. Um, can't remember what I was going to say. Can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, is that a first super chat? Thank you, Rammer. Thank you. Celebrate the first ever super chat. I appreciate you, my friend. He says, uh, didn't you already see way too much of your stepmom? Russell, stop reminding me. I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. I don't, Russell, I don't want to think about it. These are the things that now I, my stepmom did actually used to walk around naked all the time. I mean, I was used to that. She walked around the house naked a lot. It's whatever, man. It's just a body. I'm not weird about it, but I didn't need to see everything else that I saw. That's it. That's all I'm saying. That's what I didn't need to see. None of it was good. None of it was good, y'all. Russell, why would you make me think about that? Now it's in my head. Now it's in my head. Oh, five from Slosher. Thank you so much, Slosher. No, get out. Get out. No, I don't want to hear it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. No, I don't want to like it. No, I don't like it. Get out. I let you come in here. Any advice on making salad dressing? Yes, I love making salad dressing. Slosher, I make all my own salad dressing. I haven't bought bottled salad dressing in like 10 years, maybe more. I have lemons, limes, garlic, evu, vinegars, and some other things. Suggestions? Yes. Okay. I've never made dressing with lime before, but lemon is a great tool. I like to use lemon if I'm making like a yogurt-based dressing. That's really good. Um, evu is what you're going to use in place of oil, oil right? Okay. Here's my, here's my uh, recipe for you. One part red wine vinegar, two parts oil, um, and then put, uh, definitely chop up a garlic clove and put it in there. Um, add a, a little pinch of salt, a little bit of, like some, some ground pepper if you have it, or just regular pepper. Uh, and then do just like a tiny little bit of sugar, like a, like what you can pinch with, with between your fingers, put a little bit of sugar in there. Um, and then some like maybe oregano. Yeah, I think oregano, like dried oregano if you have it. And then a whisk is the best because you want to make sure that it all emulsifies. So just whisk it up with a mix until it all starts to emulsify. And then bam, you got yourself a fucking delicious ass dressing. Now you can fuck with it a little bit depending on how you like it. I personally like my dressing very, very vinegary. So if you want to, you can turn up the vinegar up a couple notches and the olive oil down uh, like a notch if you want to do that. But yeah, that's my favorite recipe. Hi, Brown Hour. Oh, no. Brown Hour got sick, too. Hi, CW. That sucks. That's my favorite um, my favorite salad dressing recipe, and it's delightful. So if you do it, please let me know what you think of it. Please let me know what you think of it. Johan, thank you so much. He says, I got sushi. Neener, neener, neener. Well, good for you. Wait, actually, that's so funny. I'm getting sushi with my stepmom on Saturday. That's what we're going to have dinner, and we're going to get sushi. We're going to get some sush. I'm excited. Sean, is your stepmom hot? I don't want to answer that question because that's weird. I have Amy's choice. I don't know what that is, Chem Dog. I don't know what that is. Hi, James Evans. I am. Hi, Tristan. I am feeling much, much better. Oh, my goodness gracious. And then an orange boy from David Botero. David, thank you so much for the super chat. He says, hello, friends. Heart Zia. Heart David. You sound better looking hot as always. Thank you so much. I'm feeling better. Guys, I want to thank you again, by the way, for the 69th bikini stream in a row. In a row. You guys are beautiful, wonderful humans for getting me there. Beautiful, wonderful humans. Tonight we'll be going for 70. This is Crazy Town. Hi, Wakener One. Um, David, thank you so much. I'm definitely feeling better. My nose betrays me sometimes, and it's definitely like I'm blowing it throughout the day but nowhere near what it used to be. Look at that. We're at 72.53. Hot damn. Hi, aware. Um, I don't know if you were aware of the... All right, I'm sorry. I'll see myself out. Did I say hi to Outlaw too? I don't remember. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down because I'm behind. 
on the chat, behind on the hat chat. You're welcome, Sasha. I really want to know what you think of the salad dressing. That is in, I like, that's the best one. <sighs> Lady Marine also had sushi for dinner. God, I love some sushi. Hi, psychotic mongoose. What kind of sushi did you have? What kind of sushi did Johan and and and, and Lady Marine have? Huh? Huh? What was your sushis? What was your sushis? Oh, Russell, why do you want to do this to me? Russell, why do you want to do this to me? It's not nice at all. Remember when? Uh, 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 I'm not reading that, Russell. I'm not reading that. But thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Remember when you're? Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Hi, Cheeto. Tell Cheeto I said hello. Tell him I say he's a good boy and give him a kiss for me. Beautiful, wonderful humans is a neat way of saying sick perverts. I think that it's nice. I think it's a nice way. We had an x-ray girl raid. Oh, shit. Hi, x-ray girl raid. Lovely x-ray girl. God damn it. I cannot for the life of me say words tonight. I can. Uh, we can't say words any night, but tonight is one of the nights that I can't say words. Um, Eric Stone, ooh, sashimi and nigiri, yum, 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 yum. X-Ray Girl, welcome, Raiders. Thank you guys so much for raiding and welcome to the stream. And hi, X-Ray Girl, if you're here. Hello. Mm, that sounds so good. I say words so good. Uh, I had Philly, spicy yellow towel with crunchies, Godzilla roll, and edamame. God damn, that sounds just delightful. That sounds just flipping delightful. Everybody's out here eating sushi, having a good time. <sighs> What kind of, are you making a salad? Are you making a salad? Three, oh, okay, three. Three goes here. Three goes here. Oh, shit. That's where he stabs it. This is the beginning of the book, you guys. I need two of these little heart fellas. <gasps> and then, ooh. Oh, shrimp. Hi, old nerdy. Hi, Deadpool. Shrimp pad thai is so good, old nerdy. It's so good. Fuck. Now I want all, you guys are just talking about all these amazing foods that I want. Sushi and fucking pad thai. God damn it, dude. I could live off Asian food. I'm not even joking. I could live off of Japanese food. Like literally fucking nothing. Lit, like for, uh, that's like, that's all I could eat in my whole life. Um, this is not what I meant to click on James Evans. Yes, I did see what happened, but I but I do want to thank David Butero for gifting five Zealand memberships. That's five new heathens. We're gonna take we're gonna take over the world. I've got to calm down. I've got to stop telling people my plan is what I'm gonna stop doing. I can't keep telling people I'm gonna we're gonna take over the world. Um, I did see what happened in Baltimore. Not great. Not good at all. David Patero, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now we have five new heathens. <gasps> Hi, Disbrew. Disbrew's in the chat. Disbrew, I've been sick for a while and I feel a little bit, I feel a lot of it better today. Let's be real. Let's be real, my homie. Um, and so your girl's a little bit fucking today. So there's a lot of extra energy where perhaps there wasn't. We're building a Dobby. I don't know if you saw this. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. And right now we're making a book. We're making a book. This is we're making Tom Riddle's diary that is the Horcrux. That's what we're going to make right now. That's what we're doing. Anyway, hello Disbrew. Welcome to the stream. Uh, anytime you want, stop by. You won't, though, because you're busy playing with your Dobby. I mean, who doesn't want to play with a Dobby all day? Uh, Disbrew, I've always wanted to try Yorkshire pudding. Like, literally always. Wait, I'm scrolling down, so I'm, like, at the right spot. Uh, what are we doing tonight, Zia? Same thing we do every night. Dave, try to take over the world. David, we're trying to take over the world. We're going to take over the world. I mean, we're just kidding. We're just building cool Legos. We're making cool Dobby Legos. That's what we're doing. We're not taking over anything. It's fine. It's fine. Oh no, I give I missed a gifted heathen from Danny the Foot. No. All right, look at this. This is what happens. Where did I miss? There it is. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe I almost missed this. Thank you so much, backhand. Thank you so much. Danny the Foot, thank you so much for gifting a Zealand membership. That's another heathen. That's six heathens. Six new heathens tonight. And we're going to take 
over the world. Also, yeah, hit that like button. If y'all are here, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like it, get out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm in the just all over the place. All right, hold on. Let's make sure. I'm going back down, so I'm not behind. I'm not behind. Sasha, what kind of salad are you making? What are we putting the dressing on? What? <laughs> Will you get more energy when sick? What is this, witchcraft? No, Disbrew, I'm starting to feel better today. Like, this is the first day I've had energy. I've been sitting around the house for five. No, no, it's been a full week. It's been a full week since I've been sick. Last week, Tuesday, is when I spiked a goddamn fever. And I was like, this is bullshit. And I was horrible, low energy. I was not feeling good sitting around the house. I've had... Then my fever, I had a fever for about three and a half ish days. And then by like that fourth day, it really kind of broke and was gone. Just like sweating profusely. Um, but then this is disgusting. This is the, I'm such a disgusting person. Jesus Christ. Uh, but then for the next, like the following three days after that, it looked like the Hulk was blowing bogeys out of his nose. Just fucking bright, dark, bright and dark somehow at the same time. And bloody snot coming out of my nose at alarming rates alarming rates disbrew so much. But anyway, yeah, it was disgusting. But, and I'm sorry. And so I've just been sitting around for over a week and I'm finally starting to feel better today. And so I think that's where all the energy came from. That's where all of it came from. We're good. Uh, um, um, oh, and Danny the Foot just gifted another ZLN membership. Look, another heathen. Yay. You got, oh, I got to get back in the gym. This is depressing. God, I've missed working out so much. I miss it so much. Um, Danny the Foot, thank you so much. I'm going to read I'm, I'm going to read it, but I'm not going to. Hi, MK Solid. Hmm. Uh, Danny the Foot, thank you so much for gifting another Zealand Heathen membership. That is that is seven new heathens today. Seven. Hi, Kyle Cluckin. Hi. I'm making my crux. <laughs> it's my crux, old nerdy. I see what you did there, old nerdy. Fuck yeah. It's the world's. It's the world. It's the world do Legos. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're taking, I mean, Legos. Saw, thank you so much. That's a five from Saw. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. Z, you're looking beautiful, Muscle Mommy. You forgot to tweet your stream. You had chicken and stuffing and baked, uh, or you had chicken and stuffing and baked potato. Love and hugs. I did not tweet my stream. Your girl is not on top of her shit. Your girl's not on top of her shit at all, and she doesn't feel so good. So I wasn't, I've been really bad about it. I've been really, really bad about it. So no one even knows I'm live. No one even knows I'm streaming. It's fine. It's fine. I got to turn this off because there's no reason for it to be on right now. I got to turn my pussy off. <laughs> uh, love and hug, Saw. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's not showing up on my end that the gift membership went through. Weird. YouTube is so odd sometimes. I feel like Deadpool, I feel so much better. I feel like um, there's always some fucking little bullshit thing going on. There's always some sort of, oh, what is this? There's always some sort of uh, fuckery going on with YouTube. It's never on top of its shit. Just a oh, butterleaf lettuce is the best it is the best lettuce, Slasher. That is my favorite lettuce. I know that sounds weird to have a favorite lettuce, but butterleaf is it. It's a side for rice and teriyaki chicken. That sounds delightful. That sounds so good. That's what I need. I need to, you know what I need to do? All right, I'm scrolling down because I know I'm super behind on chat. No one wants to look like Mark Ruffalo. No one does. <sighs> God, old dirty. You get to sit there and have fucking pad thai and I get to sit here and nothing. Uh, Sweeney Todd? No. No, thank you. I'm sorry. I love, I hate musicals. I hate them. I don't want to, I just, there's no part of me that wants to watch a musical. There's no part of me that wants to do it. Wait a second. What is this? Something's not right. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I was like, something is not quite right. Been turning off pussies everywhere. Everywhere. Disbrew, it is taking everything I have in me not to... 
not to go on a Twitter rant about it, but I will. I'm probably going to do it. It's going to happen. It's fine. Uh, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. The first one was good. Yes. Was it very similar to Taxi Driver? Yeah, absolutely. It was, but it was still a good movie. And it's, there were still a lot of good moments. There were a lot of good elements. I left the theater actually thoroughly enjoying that movie. And the second one, they're going to completely fuck it up by hiring Lady Gaga and making it a musical. I just don't understand who asked for that. Did anyone ask for that? I don't think so. Do they know their audience at all? I don't think. I, you know what? Never mind. We have our answers to all of these questions. But it's like every time there's just a hint of something good, like we can't have anything good in life. They take it away from us by doing some bullshit. Russell Hall, thank you so much for the super chat. That's two from Russell. He says, if you want to turn your pussy off, watch Cecil later. I'll make sure to tell him that you said that. <laughs> thank you, Russell. I will. I will. Uh, yeah, I just can't. Danny the Foot, I can't do musicals. Anytime they start singing, I get, I'm going to go on a Twitter rant. I get real, real irritated. Real quick. All right, is this goes here? This goes here. Okay, look at this. And then, bam. Guys, guys, it's happening. It's happening. We're about to have a book, son. I'm so sorry to all of you. Let's go. Oh, no, no, Outlaw 2, no, there's no reason for that either. I watched <coughs> Frozen when it first came out because no one would shut the fuck up about it. Everybody was like, oh, my God, Frozen. Nah, nah, nah. And so I watched it because I kind of like Tangled. Don't judge me. Um, and so I watched it and I don't really understand the hype of that. It's just that's why I can't watch Disney movies anymore, though, because they're just they never stop singing. They don't ever stop singing. It's just it's real gay. It's just real gay. Where do I put the? <laughs> Take me down to, oh. Putting on the Ritz. Guys, we're making a cake after this. We're gonna make us a nice little cake. Is it just me or is Lizzo a glorified beauty parlor <laughs> receptionist? <laughs> Old nerdy, you are not wrong, my friends. You are not wrong. That's uh, actually kind of exactly what I see now, once you say that. Tom Marvolo Riddle. I feel like the cake is going to be fun. Because. Because. Oh, my good. Hey, what's up, John? Welcome to the stream, my friend. <sighs> Tickle King. Tickle King with a golden shower boy. A golden shower boy. Thank you so much for the golden shower. Good to see you, Zia. Looks like you're starting to feel like yourself again. I hope you had an incredible day. Tickle King, thank you so much. I slept for most of the day, and I think that's probably why I feel a bit better and why I have energy now. Hopefully, I can sleep tonight. Tell me why. That's all I saw out loud, too, and for some reason, it just made me think of that. Tickle King, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tickle King. Look at this. I think we're just a little... Hi, Tricky. Hi, I-12. Welcome to the stream. We're only 74 until bikini. Holy heck, you guys are amazing. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Is that part of the movie? <sighs> Tickle King, I hope you had an amazing day. Tickle King, are you in Vegas? And then also, what's for dinner? Even if I'm not picking it, I always like, yes, I would like to choose your dinner. <laughs> Outlaw 2, I can't. I can't with that movie. I wasn't, I just was not into it. It's fine if you liked it or whatever, but if you did, you're kind of gay. I mean, <clears throat> I don't say things like that about people. No, I'm just kidding. It just wasn't for me. It was just, it was just whatevs, cuz. Ugh. Here, it's happening, though. Every once in a while, my nose will do this. It'll do it every now and again. It can't help itself. I'm putting on the Tom Morvolo riddle sticker on the diary. I have fishnets, John. I've got them. Ooh, I am in Vegas. Meetings all morning and played some golf this afternoon. Tickle King, you're living the dream. I mean, except for the meetings. Oh, man, I was doing so good for a second. Oh, how are you? How are the Bobs doing? Bobs are doing pretty good, my friend. 
B, that's so much. Seven D bikini shows in a row. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm being a big baby. I just, I had to recover from the boobs and I was like pretty fucking down and out for like, honestly, six, a month to six weeks. And I still don't feel fully normal with these things yet, which is fine. You know, I, I knew it was going to be a bit. Um, and then as soon as I was cleared to do some light exercise, like doing some cardio and light lifting, I got fucking sick again. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated because I'm just sitting around and I hate it. I'm so done. Yeah, that's not ASMR for all of y'all. For all of y'all. And then look, another golden shower boy from Courtney Russ. So many golden shower boys. So many. <gasps> Thank you so much, Courtney. Thank you. I've just been showered in golden tonight, you guys. Like showered in golden. So many golden shower boys. I love it. <laughs> Disbrew, what are we talking about? We've all been there with recovering from boobies. I know. <laughs> how are you? How am I going to recover from these boobs? <sighs> At least I know that other people feel my pain recovering from the boobies. Oh, oh, I don't know what to choose. So I'm sending you the in-room dining menu to your DM. Yes. Yes. Where is it? Where is it? We're almost done with this book. This is very exciting. Hi, Ravenclaw. Thank you so much for the super chat. Two from Ravenclaw. He says, remember, Acolytes is Kill Bill meets Frozen. The hell is that? I've never even heard of Acolytes. Remember Acolytes? Is that what it is? What is this, Ravenclaw? Tell me more. Tell me more about this. And Tricky, thank you for the super chat, Tricky. Hello. He says, ever watched Dr. Horrible sing along with Neil Patrick Harris? No. I've not heard of that. It sounds like a musical. If you're saying sing along, it's... It sounds like a musical. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this din din is. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, whenever you do send it. Whenever you do send it. No rush. No rush. We're building a, a this. So you got you, John, if it's mellow, leave. Wait, no. If it's yellow, leave it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Them's the rules. I don't make them, but that's just what they are. That's just what they are. <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. I gotta look up the Donnie Darko after watching the Donnie Darko watch along last night. So fun, by the way, you guys. That was a fucking awesome, awesome possum an awesome possum we're gonna flip it over and this is gonna go here um i gotta i gotta get the soundtrack for that i really do i really want the soundtrack for that movie it was awesome it was so good it was so good so good so good so good so good so good i've got a you bow, bow, bow. I feel nice, like sugar and spice. Oh my God, look at this, we have a book. We have a book, which means then we can put the sock in it. Ah, put a sock in it. Wait, how does this work? How can you not put the, the sock in this? Ha! Oh, this was nice. Courtney Russ with another five. Courtney Russ, thank you so much. She says just because, just because, just to, just to be nice and lovely and sweet. I'm not crying. You're crying. Courtney, thank you so much. We're really close to bikini now. We're only halfway into the stream. Not halfway to the stream. We're only 30 minutes into the stream. Mmm. And this is to, we celebrated, we finished this. <gasps> Thank you, this is my little guy. This is an ambiance. We're only 55 from Bikini, holy heck. Oh, Tickle King just sent the menu. Yes. All right, well, we've got a book and we've got a sock for the book. So now we're, next we're gonna make the, um, the cake. Next we're making the cake. All right, let's look at this menu. What foods are we gonna get? I feel nice. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know where all these songs are coming from. Okay. Mm, 
Open with PDF viewer. Okay, in-room dining. Guys, we're going to do this. This is happening. This is happening. Uh, so definitely not breakfast. Soup, salads, appetizers, sandwiches, and pasta. Entrees, sides, desserts. Okay, 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 okay. Let's start with sandwiches and pasta. Prime sandwich. Baguette, sliced prime rib, caramelized onion, Swiss cheese, au jus sauce, horseradish, aioli. That sounds delightful. Fried chicken sandwich also sounds really good. Portobello mushroom ciabatta, yuck. Grilled chicken, too healthy. Ooh, croissant club sandwich. That sounds nice. Uh, pasta, hand now. Entrees, ooh, filet mignon. That's, that was fancy. Whipped potatoes, asparagus, and sauce bordelaise. Oh, my God. Ooh, they have a surf and turf, too. Ooh, and grilled salmon. How healthy do you want to be? How healthy do you want to be here, Tickle King? Like, how are we, uh... Ooh, they also have General So's chicken. You should get the filet mignon. Is it Bordelais sauce? <laughs> it's too it's too fancy for me, clearly. Too fancy for me. Uh, ooh, you should get the chocolate ganache cake, though, too. Whipped cream and fresh berries. That should be dessert. For dinner, you should really get the filet mignon. It's it just sounds so good. It just sounds so good, Tickle King. Oh, I just had grilled chicken salad for lunch, so I'm good for whatever. You should you should treat yourself because you do so much. You should treat yourself to a nice steak. A nice steak it is very bougie. It's fancy for Zia. A nice steak and um and some and some and some whipped potatoes and stuff. That sounds really good. That sounds really delightful. Tricky. Thank you so much for the super chat. It's a golden shower boy. He says, dang it, you jeep paying attention. <laughs> he meant keep. I know what he meant. You keep paying attention to Dobby's Legos more than our witty chats. Neil Patrick Harris played a mad scientist in love with Nathan Fillion playing a superhero that the love interest is in love with. Okay, you had me with Nathan Fillion. Is this a musical though? Do I have to watch? I know. I'm sorry. I'm paying attention to this because we built a book. We built a Dobby with a book. His book is done. Look at it. Look at it, you guys. Look at it. It's done. It's done. You open it up and then here's a sock. And then it got stabbed through because it's Tom Morvolo Riddle's diary. Um, okay. Mad scientist in love with Nathan Fillion playing a super Nathan, Nathan Fillion. I love Nathan Fillion. Uh, playing a superhero that is the love interest is in love with. I kind of understood what's going on here, but this is a musical. See, you, I'm torn now. I'm torn now because Neil Patrick Harris is great, but then singing is not so good and Nathan Fillion is amazing. Johan, thank you so much for the super chat. That's five from Johan. He says, I'm writing a new book. It's about my experiences on the internet. It's called Zealand Sings and Other Audio Atrocities. <gasps> I get to be in the title? So lucky. So cool. Johan, thank you. And I get to be in the title. This is good. This is good. Everybody gets to hear me. Everyone. Canine Taste with another golden shower boy. Canine Taste, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are just incredible. Look at this. We're freaking so close to bikini. Only 30. Only 30. K9 Taste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Dispru, I get to choose Tickle King's dinner. It's very fun. He he not every stream, but most streams, I get to choose his dinner. So tonight he gets steak. Tonight he gets steak. And I get to live vicariously through him. Highway up, dude. Sasha, you're not entirely wrong. You're not entirely wrong about that. It sounds like you just chose the most expensive thing on the menu. I kind of did. But it was one of the it, it, goddamn musical, musicals. But it was also, yeah, and he's doing the filet mignon. It was also the best one. It was the best one. Come on. Who doesn't want a nice filet? A nice medium to medium rare filet. <laughs> Fuck sake, see <Z>, you jeep. <laughs> Nathan Fillion looks like a normal Joe. You dig on that? Hell yeah, old nerdy. Nathan Fillion is fine as hell. Fine as hell. He's, I mean, look, he's no, um, what's his name? Why can't I remember his name right now? From the boys. 
and everything else in Lord of the Rings. He's like my guy crush. I don't know. It's, it's gone from my head. He, Master has given Dobby a sock, a bunk sock, gross, but Dobby is a free elf now. <laughs> Imagine Dobby gets his hand on a jizz sock. Oh, <laughs> Johan. <laughs> um, no one is on Unqualified Experts this week, Ben. I got to figure that shit out. Oh, uh, uh. uh, pulled pork pizza or tacos? Canine taste, that sounds incredible. All of those sound incredible. For some reason, I've been craving pizza like a motherfucker canine taste. So that calls to me. As soon as you said pizza, I was like, pizza. But follow your heart. Follow your heart. God damn it. That sounds so good, though. They all sound good. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. No, not in love with Nathan Fillion. The girl Neil Patrick Harris character is in love with is in love with Nathan Fillion's superhero. Yes, it's kind of a musical. Okay, got it. I would be in love with Nathan Fillion's superhero also. Um, kind of a musical. Can I fast forward through the songs? Because I don't know. I'm torn on this one, Tricky. I'm torn. You got me torn on this. Rip torn. <laughs> Nathan Fillion would make me question my life choices. He's a hottie as hell. He's no old nerdy. Carl Urban. Thank you. Carl Urban is my jam. Carl Urban, Vigo Mortensen is great, but Carl Urban is him from oh, Serenity, Disprove, Dis, Serenity, Nathan Fillion is fucking S tier, but Carl Urban is like my guy. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Dan A. Welcome to the stream. You made it. Hello, Stinky Face. He's extra stinky. Hi, Stinky Face. Welcome to the stream. Pork roast ready to go. Oh, my God. You're starting the smoker tonight, Courtney Russ. Mm -mm. How's you being able to use that hand treat, Mia? Now you can smoke meats. <gasps> this is exciting. Oh, pulled pork tomorrow. God damn, you can make some pulled pork sandwiches, a little pulled pork slider. My mouth is filling with saliva. I can't eat anymore. God, that sounds so good. <laughs> Tickle King, I did have some shit to talk about. I had some shit to talk about. And I'm sorry. I'm glad that you don't mind the rambling because I rambled a lot. A lot. My apologies for that. Um, my, my apologies for that. I j what the heck? Why would they not? Okay, I join it with this. I join it with this. You guys, we're making the cake. It's cake time. Dobby has a cake time. Um, but thank you for letting me ramble. Thank you for letting me ramble. Johan is unqualified. Oh, yes. Canine taste. Get Domino's. I don't care what anyone says. I think Domino's for, for fast food pizza, Domino's is delightful. Absolutely delightful. Nathan Fillion just seems like a guy you could have a beer with, right? He just seems cool. And he's just so, he's so hot. How about Ashton or Wicked Virtue if Nina is not free? Yeah, I'd be down for that. I should ask Ashton. I should. I missed another. I I missed another gifted heathen from Danny the Foot. What the heck is wrong with me? Where did I not see that? Where is it? I still don't see it. Why is it not showing up here? <laughs> Danny the Foot, I'm so sorry. I don't see it again. I'm just literally only seeing these super chats. What the heck? But thank you so much. Hi, Danny V. Um, thank you so much, Danny the Foot, for gifting another heathen. I'm so sorry I missed that. Again, again. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Acolytes is the new Star Wars show full of the lesbians and the ugly kind. <laughs> I almost missed that completely. All right, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling back down because otherwise I'm going to be way behind on chat again. Again. <laughs> kind of funny musicals maybe i think for guys uh for guys they have to have that controlled monster angle what that makes them hot is that what it is they've got to be like they could be a monster but they're not <laughs> tickle king uh, it feels good not to be immobilized, but there's still a lot I can't do. Yeah, I know. You have to be careful. It does suck. It does. That's kind of how I feel. Like, yeah, I can do stuff kind of, but not entirely. Like, yours is definitely probably like, way more severe, obviously. 
Um, but it's that feeling of like, okay, cool. I can do stuff, but kind of not. And it's weird to be held back while you feel like you want to do the things, but you can't really do the things. The cake is the lie. Carl Urban looks like Robin Thicke. See, I don't see that old nerdy. I don't see that. Domino's in the UK is awesome. Robin Thicke, I feel like is super weird looking. Oh, sorry. It was a mistake. Domino's is trash tier pizza, but sometimes it just hits different. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's just garbage pizza, but like it's good garbage pizza. You know what I'm saying? All right. I forgive you back, Kent. I was about to be real mad for it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Psychotic Mongos, thank you so much for gifting one ZLN membership. That's one ZLN membership. That's a whole new heathen. We've added another heathen to the, uh, to, wait, wait, that's eight heathens, eight heathens to the world. That they're going to go out and take over hell to the, yeah, I've had Domino's in the U S UK and U S are very different pizza. Really? I would like to try them both and compare them. I've got the travel bug real bad. I've just been watching a bunch of YouTube videos on, uh, there's this couple that go around Japan and share. I talked about this last stream and they show you different all kinds of different things, different restaurants, different hotels. They tell you exactly how much of everything costs, everything that's included in the trip, um, all of that. And they go to different uh, random little different towns and are like, you should check this out and do this because it's this and blah, 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 whatever the fuck. Anyway, um, I've been watching a lot of that and I really have the travel bug. I want to go to Japan so bad. Slasher, thank you so much for the super chat. That's a five from Slasher. He said, I made Disprew read this joke on Saturday. Why couldn't Helen Keller drive? <laughs> she was a woman. That's not the punchline punch you're expecting. <laughs> That's what makes this one so good. It's so good. Slasher, I like this one a lot. I've never heard it. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, so I do want to go to the UK. Ah, uh, That's so funny. We're talking about old jokes. That's a good joke. I don't know why I've never heard that one. Okay. Uh, Nathan Fillion is that he has the potential to be a violent monster, but it's controlled by his principles and the rules he sets himself. But at any point, if he piss him off, he could. Yeah. You know what? This brew, I understand that. I totally understand that. There is something very alluring about a man who has those qualities. I, I, I can't tell you what it is, but there it's, I don't know, maybe our, our innate need to be protected, I guess, or something like that. But I, I see where you're coming from. Oh, hell yes. Oh, Dijon mustard. Slosher, you are literally, that's also part of the recipe that I actually forgot to tell you about. I'm not even joking. I swear to God, I'm not joking. I forgot to tell you about the Dijon mustard. God damn it. Um, I'm glad that you like the dressing. Dijon mustard is literally exactly what it needed. You, are, you have a gift, Slosher. You just fucking know. Backhand, I could never be mad at you. I could never be mad at you. Uh, South Korea. Yep. Disbrew. South Korea is on my list. I want to go to South Korea so bad as well. Um, I also, I also want to go to Croatia. I don't know if you've ever seen this show. This is another, I do like travel shows a lot. Uh, if you've seen that show, somebody feed Phil, it's Phil Rosenthal who created, uh, somebody, everybody loves Raymond and he's just this sweet, adorable Jewish, old Jewish man, uh, who goes around and not like old, old, but older who goes around to different parts of the world and tries their different cuisines. But he also explores whatever country and whatever town he's in. And he meets with the people and he goes around and he kind of teaches you little history lessons about whatever country he's in. And then a lot of that is centered around food. So he'll go and whatever that country is famous for, he tries that or whatever people you know, if someone moved there and they're like, this is a really big food scene here and he'll try that. And he takes you to these different restaurants and he went to Croatia and Croatia is fucking beautiful. Look, I'm sure there are parts of it that are shit, but that's literally everywhere. And I've now added Croatia to the top of my travel list. I want to go to Croatia because it looks, it's looks incredible. Uh, 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 there is no spoon. What's up, Han Solo? Shot first. Look at this. We're only 20 until bikini. Japan and South Korea have such traditional cultures. I'd probably end up moving there. Dispro, that does seem like kind of the perfect place for you. They also, Dispro, however, have um, maid cafes where you go in and these cute little maid girls dress up in maid outfits and, and talk to you and like, oh my God, hi. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's actually adorable. It's adorable. Sumo Johan. 
Yeah, Old Nerdy Japan is like way high on the bucket list for me too. It's probably like number one or two. Number one or two. I uh, No, I invented it that way, trademarked. <laughs> That's the slosher recipe. Zia's Puffy Nips, thank you so much for the super chat. I am now a heathen worshiping Zia's Puffy Nips. Yay! Welcome to heathen ship, Zia's Puffy Nips. I believe that you have probably always been a heathen, but now you are an official Zealand heathen. Thank you for being here. Yes, he can protect you, but only be uh, versus your enemies. He has the capacity to dish out justice, which always requires violence, but only on those deserved. Disparu, I feel like you've thought a lot about this. You should check out Croatia. Croatia looks beautiful. Uh, I feel like you've thought a lot about this. Mm -mm -mm. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down so I'm not way behind. Are we good? All right. We're good. Okay. Okay. Hi, John Darwin. Welcome to the stream. It's kind of me job to think about this. Um, <laughs> to think about how much you want to sleep with. I mean, how much you would maybe want to sleep with Nathan Fillion? No, no, I totally get it. I feel like that's also the same thing with Carl Urban as well, actually. Hi, Jason Clemens. Hell yeah, Jason Clemens. No swirlies for two weeks. Hi, Jessica Reloaded. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We're building Legos. And we got two from Mr. Courtney Russ. Courtney, thank you so much for the super chat. Look at this. Look at it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Disbrew. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you were talking about uh, Nathan Fillion. I was like, I mean, look, if you want to think about that and say it's your job, that's fine. <laughs> uh, no, that makes sense. Think about cultures, heroic values, what makes good entertainment. Yes, obviously, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and the end, uh, Hayao Miyazaki is, I don't watch a lot of Japanese entertainment, so I can't speak to that except for Miyazaki films. And I mean, just think about how influential and popular anime is and manga and stuff like that, because it is incredibly, uh, incredibly popular here in the West. So yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. Uh, I think the values that make good entertainment and good culture and therefore a place you'd want to live. Well, what I love about Japan and Japanese values is that they have pride in their country and in the jobs that they do, right? So even the small jobs, like even if you work at a convenience store, they have pride in their jobs. And that's why everything is so clean. And for common people, look, I know that there's probably their own issues that they have over there that we don't know about because clearly I don't speak Japanese and keep up with their politics. Uh, that being said, everyone that goes to Japan, every video that you see, everything is clean. Their subways are incredible. Their trains are fast. They don't break down. There's no graffiti anywhere. Um, and people really take pride in their community and in their, in their cult country, Jesus Christ, and in their culture. And that's something that I feel like, unfortunately, we're lacking in a lot of parts of the U S I know it's different in some, you know, in some parts of the U S people do feel that way, but there's just so in a lot of the cities, it's just, it's a nightmare. Uh, I do Nathan, but is Buffy the Vampire Slayer days. I could have gone gay for that or not. <laughs> Look, I don't blame you. I didn't know you like Legos. I love Legos. Um, I haven't done Legos or played with Legos in so long until Slosher sent me this fucking awesome ass Lego set. So we've build, been building Legos. It's it's incredible. Oh, yeah, I feel like Valhalla Waits actually said something to me about that. I'm like 99% sure that was him. Maybe 100% sure. Pride in their country. They have basic respect, like leave a place better than you found it. Respect your elders because they're wiser than you. They're England 70 years ago. Yeah, that too. Basic respect. That's a, such a fucking. There are two things. I've I feel like I've talked about this on stream before, but there are two things that make me just think that you're a trash person. I like I wouldn't want to date you or be around you, what, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, if you do these two things. And one of those things is if you are a shitty tipper. Now, this doesn't apply to countries where you don't tip. That's not I'm not saying like if you're in England where people get paid a different wage and tipping is not customary. That's specifically here for the U.S. Um, and people who litter. When people fucking throw trash on the ground immediately, I'm like, oh, you're a fucking piece of shit garbage person. I can't stand those people. It's disgusting. And the U.S. 34. Yeah, about that. The world's uh, words of the prophet are written on the subway walls and, ten and tenement halls. Wait, what is that from? What is that from? Most countries out the outside the U.S. don't have to bang. Yeah, most don't. Most don't. 
I accidentally permanently deleted my Twitter, so I don't know where I'm going to message you. Are you on Cody's Discord? I'm not on Cody's Discord. Did you? I Look, I don't blame you for even accidentally deleting your Twitter, Jessica, because Twitter is just exhausting sometimes. I'm just, I, I'm tired of it. And I don't even spend that much time on there. <laughs> I don't spend as much time as I even should be spending on Twitter, to be honest with you. For for the t- the line of work that I'm in, I should be spending a lot more time on Twitter, but I don't. But I don't because it's exhausting. I never throw anything on the floor. I can't find if I I can't find a trash can. I take it home and throw it away there. Same. My my fucking pockets and purse is full of trash that I'll be like, oh shit, and I've got to take it out and throw it away because there's just don't fucking throw it on the ground. I carry things around with me until I find a bin. Been ingrained in me since I was a kid, but now everywhere I go is covered in trash. That's exactly why. Ugh. It's just upsetting. I haven't been on. I just don't go on Twitter anymore. Hi, Tim MD, Alexander. I just like never go on Twitter. I'll go on to to do like promote something if I if I've got to do that. And then that's kind of it. Just every time I go on there, I'm reminded why I'm like, ugh, this is just annoying. Okay, I feel like this is not the way this is supposed to be. Is that it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. That I was doing this correctly, but I was not. But I was not. Most people in the service industry like the tipping model. They can make lots more with tipping than they could if they were hourly wage only. Oh, a tricky 1,000% agree. You couldn't pay. They, they wouldn't be able to pay me enough money to go back to waiting tables unless I was making tips. Because there were days where I'd walk home with 500 on a fucking breakfast shift. And if I wasn't going to make that, it wouldn't be worth it because waiting tables fucking sucks dick. Ha! Speaking of, look at my ass as I bend over. I also uh, magnet fish once in a while. I found a ton of lures and knives and a few old phones. Wait, wait, wait. What are you magneting, Johan? Aw. Thanks, Alexander. I do not feel that way right now, but it's just, that's just personally where I'm at. Uh, what do you call a virgin girl from Alabama? An orphan. <laughs> David, I've never heard that one. Um, I throw tips on the floor, then I tell the waiter, pick up that litter, you trash. Is that a deal breaker? Are the, are the, are the tips pennies, old dirty? Are they just pennies? Uh, yeah, I don't want my restaurant service to make 500 on a morning. You get better service that way, though. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That was only on, like, holiday days, but still. If I ain't making that much, I ain't doing it. <laughs> Fuck that. I like, um, I liked waiting tables when I did it for a little bit, but I, it's just, I would have to make so much money to want to go back to that. Fucking sucks. Ooh, okay. Two of these. Mm, 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 mm. Am I doing this correctly? All right, there we go. Hell yeah. And I don't know how true it is because I haven't had a chance to investigate it myself, but I've heard that service in other countries isn't quite as good as the U.S. because when you're working for tips, you're given that good service. Heard what I said? D- Disbrew, you're not paying her 500. You make 500 because you have a fuck ton of tables. You you leave, just leave your 20%. Oh, bikini time. Hell yeah. Saw, so, thank you so much for the super chat. That's five from Saw. Just the tips. Uh, if you forget to ask Nina about your show, she is live right now. I can ask her if you'd like and get back to you. Saw, so, you were very kind. Thank you so much. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm kind of in a weird lull right now where what I would like, and I can, I'm going to ask someone or I'll do the show solo. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to make a list of people that I want to reach out to and then start reaching out to people and booking out in advance a little bit. But right now I'm winging it because my life is kind of chaotic, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. 500, not one person. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. That's because you, you fucking have like on a busy holiday like that, where I'd make that much money, I would have I don't know, maybe 70 to 80 tables in a shift, like of constant turning over. So if I'm not making that much, there's no fucking way I'm doing that. 
There's no way I'm working that hard for a regular fucking, here's $15 an hour. <laughs> David Botero, thank you so much for the orange boy. And it's bikini time. Yay! Let's do it, guys. It is time for bikini. You guys are incredible. I love you so much. It's time for bikini. David, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, we're doing it. 20% better be some damn phenomenal service. 20% is my standard. That's what I fucking tip any. 20% is literally starting for me. If it's anything under that, they have to be a really like on purpose bad server. Oh, shit. No, no, I am a very good tipper. <laughs> a very good tipper. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, no, there's no such. Well, look, if that's the only kind of service you're getting, I guess. Uh, but there's, I don't know. I never just carried a plate to a table. It's not, you're fucking refilling waters. You're taking plates. You're bussing tables. You're taking orders. You're making everything's put in making sure everything's put in correctly. People are fucking changing what they want on you. You're bringing sauces, extra napkins, extra utensils, and you're doing that for, you know, 12 to 15 tables at once. There's no rest. Like, I don't know what kind of places y'all are working at, but my job, my fucking waiting tables job was hard. That shit is not easy. And I'm not doing it for garbage money. Mm -mm -mm. I guess if you worked at one of those, like, shitty places where you don't do anything. I had to have knowledge of the menu. I had to know what every ingredient was. People are allergic to shit fucking constantly. So I had to know what had to know what was in everything. We had Muslim people coming in, so I had to know what the casing on the fucking sausages were because they didn't eat pork. Like there is all kinds of shit with waiting tables. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm scrolling all the way to the bottom. I think I'm a pretty good tipper as well. No rest for the waitress. I started 25% unless they really are screwing up or tell, or they tell me what the tip is going to be. Yeah, Wigginer one, I am, um, same. I am, I am fucking like a, a very good tipper. Over here, you just tell them what they want and they bring you the table. Okay, yeah, that's why that's, that's probably why you guys don't tip. If that's all you do, if like that's all the serving is, that is not what it's like here. You got to manage your fucking tables. It's about, uh, what is it? What's, I remember interviewing for a job once and they asked me like, what do you think makes a good server? And for me, this is my answer. It's about anticipating expectations and anticipating the guests. And so whatever it is that they want or might need, you have it to them before they ask you. That's what makes a good fucking server. I had a young lady spill a full Diet Coke in my lap. It was her first day. Oh, no. She thought I was going to get her fired. I left her 20 on a $15 check. Johan, that's so nice. See, that's the kind of shit that I would do. Everyone has a first day and you get so nervous. And for some people, having that rapport with people is really tough. Oh, oh Johan, that's really sweet of you. I love that. I love that so much. When I went to France in 2014, the difference in service between the ones that had tipping and not was huge. No tipping had crap service. Server rarely came around or anything. Tricky. Exactly. That is like legitimately my personal opinion of why I actually think tipping is good. And I have no problems tipping if you're going out for a special night and you want really good service. And I do. I always tip well, but I do pay attention to what good service is. And not everybody's good at waiting tables and not everybody should be doing it. Um. I mean, that's what most serving is from my experience. 100% outlaw too. That's 100%. 100. Hi, Andrew Thomas. Welcome to the stream. What makes a good receiver? Open wide. <laughs> Over here, if they bring you the wrong food, most people won't complain. Really? They just eat it? Oh, man, that's horrible. <laughs> that sucks. Hey, Mountain B, Steve. <laughs> Mountain B Steve. Hey, it might work. It might work. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm not against tipping. I just don't think it's a given. For me, it's always a given. Always, always, always. I like judge people really harshly on that too. Again, not in other countries. I understand. But here, like I briefly dated a guy who didn't like tipping. And let me tell you right now, it was real brief. Courtney Russ, thank you so much for the super chat. That's five from Courtney Russ. All right, I got to get into a bikini. 
he has British politeness. They're like, this is fine. I'll eat this. I also have done that before, but you know, it, it depends. It depends. Uh, yeah, no tricky. Th Courtney Russ, thank you so much. I got to put a bikini in. I got to put a bikini on. I'll be right back. Um, when fast food started. Yeah, no tricky. I'm with you hundred percent on that. I'll always leave a dollar or two sometimes, not always, but a lot of times I'll leave a dollar or two. But yeah, if I go pick up takeout food or like, yeah, at a coffee shop or go to fast food and they're like trying to get you to tip, I'm like, all right, we've gone a little bit far. Tipping is for like full service. That's that's where I'm like, if it's for you made me my coffee, I'll leave a dollar in the fucking tip jar. I don't have a problem with that. But when they're like, when you go up to counter service and they have like a 15, 20, 25% tip option, I'm like, you haven't done anything. <laughs> this is not what it is. That's not what this is. Johan, yeah, that's what it is. If you haven't ever waited tables or served, I think, in a sort of fast-paced environment like that, it's hard for you to understand. Unless you're like you and you know someone. Um, my best friend of 25 years spent most of his time being a waiter, I learned early on. Yeah. The best tipping method I've seen was start with 20%. Every time service is bad, take off 1% to 2%. If it's good, add. Tricky, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right, I'm going to go put a bikini on. I'll be right back. You guys are incredible. Seriously, thank you so much. This is 70 bikini shows in a row. And we are going to finish this cake, by the way. I really believe that we're going to finish this cake and it's going to look awesome. And we're going to have the complete full Dobby set. Slosher, I'm so excited. All right, I'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
We did it. We have bikini. This bikini 70 in a row. 70 in a row. I really, really, really have to keep. I have not gotten booby tape yet, but I very need it. And I really, really, really have got to be careful with um, these nips. These nips, these boobs and these nips are very unruly. Very unruly. Hi, Chris Thompson. Welcome to the stream. Yes, hit the like button, y'all. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you want to. I don't remember if I saw this one already. I think I did. But thank you so much again, Courtney. Thank you so, so much. And then Russell Hall. Bye from Russell. He says, on the plus side, a guy who doesn't tip would probably have no issue paying all over you. <laughs> Oh, I, that's a, I, you know what? That's a good way of looking at it, I think, maybe. Hasn't really worked out for me. I think it was because when you were sicker, you had the gain cutting you off. Oh, you know what? I think you might be right, Outlaw, too. So is it, is the, the microphone has been good? You look like you should be running a food truck in Thailand. That actually sounds like a fun adventure. Honestly, at some point in my life, I want to live in another country. Even if it's just temporary, I think that that would be awesome. Wait, where is these supposed to go? I'm like really trying to think about where these are supposed to go. I don't know what country that would be. I'd have to visit some and kind of decide which one, you know, even if it's short term, a year or two, I just think that that would be a really fucking cool experience to go live in another, another, um, country for a little bit. Mad Amos too with the golden shower boy. Mad Amos, thank you so much. He says nips more unruly than chair. Mad Amos. Yes. These nips are way more unruly than chair. Hi, Paul McDermott. <laughs> Yeah, way, way, way more unruly. They are, um, you got to be really careful with these bad boys. I've got I've to really keep an eye on them, and I can't move too much. I can't move around too much at all. I see a red door, and I want it painted black. Hi, Portal. Yeah, you really got to wrangle these things up, let me tell you. Old nerdy, yeah, learning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Uh, yeah, learning Japanese would be key to living in Japan, even though I think there is a fair amount of English speaking. That being said, I don't know where these are supposed to go. I feel like they're supposed to go. I think I feel like I kind of messed this up. I feel like I got to go back a step because I don't think I did this quite right. Well, no, but that is, that is right. So then how the fuck? It says I need eight of them but I don't see how that works. No, that's not right somehow. I just don't know how. I just don't know how. Guys, I don't know how this works. Poland or Norway for a few years based as fuck and they, and they love guns, anywhere that loves guns. If I'm visiting, I'll get by with English. But if I'm going to live there, I need to be able to talk to the cafe maids. You know what, old nerdy? That's that's an excellent point. I see where your head's at. I see where your head's at, you know, to order my food. Yeah, 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 to order your food. I believe that. Okay, I think it might go like this. Is that the case? Okay, I guess that's how this is supposed to be done, I suppose. Sure, 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 sure. It's like, did I do this wrong? I don't know. This is going to be awesome. God damn it. It's coming up all over the place. I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. Now that song's going to be stuck in my head all night. I'm going to be singing it in my head all night gonna be all right baby 
Did I lose something? No, we're good. Oh, that's the rest of my that's part of my nail. I like not getting my nails done until they've already chipped off so I don't have to wait for them to remove them because sitting there while I get my nails done is pure torture to begin with. It's, it's the actual fucking worst. We told Z to be more traditional and make a cake, but this is not what I meant. What? You didn't want a Lego cake made from Dobby? I mean, with Dobby? Then what the hell is the point? There's an awful lot of these, these fucking single, singular ones. This is going to be very cool. Uh, the maid outfit is a great one. Isn't it disappointing that real maids don't wear them? Yeah, where did that come from? That's an excellent point, old nerdy. Where did the maid thing come from where that is now, when you think about a maid, you think of, oh, this traditional maid uniform. Um, was that ever an actual uniform? Or did we just make that up and we're like, yeah, that's hot. That's how maids should look for sure. All right, so if I do, I'll do green and then orange and then, I mean purple and then green and then purple and then green and then purple and then green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. Hi, healer. What's up, healer? Welcome to the stream. 19th century, uh, 19th century French servant women. Well, apparently it's a hot look. You think they were banging the 19th century French servant women? I think they probably were. Green. Purple. Green. Purple. Green. This is a great start. Hi, Hippie J. Look at this. Look at this. It's gorgeous. All right, now I need 10 of these. And they're going to go. Where are they going to go? On top of the greens. On top of the greens. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Honestly, I feel like something's off, but. No, what you stupid bitch. Cause I feel like there's only eight of these. No, okay, I see. I see the, where they go. Son of a whore. Son of a whore. Johan, I'm not allowed to eat this? Why? If I'm making the cake, I should be able to eat it afterwards, right? I should be able to eat the cake. Is that not what this is for? And why am I doing all of this? Why am I putting all of this work in? I'm a mess. Hey, stinky faced. You missed a whole bunch of stinky stuff. We were talking about all kinds of stinky stuff. I don't know what it was, but it was real stinky. Okay. All right. So now I need one of these and one of these, and we're gonna do, I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. We're gonna do this two times. Here and here and then Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. 
I'm really concentrating, you guys. This is this is real, real deep stuff. <sighs> Portal, I might have to if it, I laugh so hard when you cuss dropping it. I do that all the time. Canine taste. That's my whole life. It's my whole life. I'm always like, fuck. And I gotta make sure I'm keeping an eye on these nipples because last time that's what happened. I was so intently focused on the Legos that I wasn't paying attention to my boobs. And you gotta pay attention to these boobs. Look at these things. Hermione might attack us. Yeah, seriously. Spew, you know, she got really into spew. Really into spew. Okay. So. I don't think I'm doing this right. You guys, I don't think I'm doing this right. Anyone ever drop something on the floor three or more times and yell at it? Fine, you stay there then. Uh, Johan, yes, absolutely. I've done that 100%. Oh, I don't think I did this right at all. Okay, no, I think we're okay. I think we're good. It's a very particular. Better be right. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now this has to be done correctly, which means we're gonna need this to go this way. Here and here and then here and here. Crap. There, look at it. <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my God, you guys, we're really getting there. There's only one more. Now I need six of these and 20 of 20 of these. Oh, for Pete's sake. And one of these. All right. So we're going to do this in the middle first. You guys, this is about to be the most beautiful, complete Dobby we've ever done. Hi, Faith Thomas. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Look at this. Look at this. We've got a book with a sock in it. I mean, this is, this is big stuff, guys. This is, this is real. This is real big stuff. Oh, the nose is coming out. Han shot first. Stop trying to make my YouTube channel disappear because I accidentally pop a nip. I accidentally be popping nips left, right, and center if I'm not careful. Zia, we need to do this correctly. Also, Zia, right after crap. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Tricky. Nobody puts Dobby in the corner. <laughs> no, hell no, they don't. And like you said, Hermione ain't going to fucking let them. Hermione ain't going to let this shit happen. All right, so these just go on all of them. So this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. These just go everywhere. Who's that riding? I've been listening to a lot of Clutch. I always listen to a lot of Clutch. I love Clutch so much. Prophets of Doom. Who's that riding? 
The prophets of doom. All right. This is going to be done in just a minute. We have a couple extra pieces. Ba da 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 Stinky Face, you are a bum expert. I believe if anyone is a bum expert, my friends, that it is you. I can't believe it, you guys. We are actually almost done. We are almost done. And you know what that means? We can do the flowers next. We can do the flowers. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so flipping cool. Look at this. I used all of them that I needed to. And then these six go one goes there, one goes here, and one goes That's not it. there. There, there, there. Ah! Look at it! Ah! Uh, Russell Hall, thank you so much for the super chat. That's two from Russell. He said, uh, have a couple little pink Legos hanging down. Uh, you know what that's going to be? You know what that's going to be? Oh, and I almost missed a fucking can a, a super sticker from Canine Tees. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, Russell. I almost completely missed this. I almost completely missed this. I'm so sorry. Canine Tees, thank you so much for the super sticker. What a super sticker. I'm sorry for saying it like that. Uh, I'm sorry for saying it like that. Thank you, Sasha. Can you believe it? Can you believe we did it with all the little pieces? Hold on. I think we're not quite done yet. Yes, there is a cake stand. Sasha, thank you so much for this. This was really, really fun. This was so much more fun than I like realized I was going to have with this. I mean, I should have known. I always loved playing with Legos, but it's just been so long. You know, you become an adult and life gets sad. It doesn't need to be. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason for this. Look at it. You guys, look at it. Oh, wait. Is this supposed to have a... Yes, it is. That's supposed to be there. So this is supposed to go here and then hold on. I'm going to do this correctly. Dude, dude, you guys, you guys. Toby has given master a sock. Ah, box says ages five to 10. Zia did it in less than two weeks. I should be the new Lego girl poster child. You guys, look at it. Oh my God, I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. I am so, so happy with this. It is going on display. I'm putting up a shelf in here and this is gonna go on the display shelf. This is so cool. Canine Taste, thank you so much. Slazer, thank you so much. First try. John, you gotta love you gotta love some Captain Jack Harkness, my friend. You gotta love some Captain Jack Harkness, dude. This is so cool. Oh my god. Ah. All right, let's put this table back where back where she belongs. We're gonna put it right here, and then I'm not gonna risk putting up Big Dobby with um, Lego Dobby because I feel like if that hap if if Lego Dobby gets smashed. I will actually cry, but I did get a new shelf that I just want to be able to put up so that I can put up Lego Dobby and then I can put, and then this is next. I am old nerdy. I am so awesome at shelves. You know me. 
No. <gasps> Sasha, did you build your Lego NES and then dropped it? How much of it broke apart? I would actually be heartbroken. I would actually be heartbroken. What did you give up on, uh, Saw? Hi, Hero Fighter. Uh, take notes, people. Don't buy Zia flowers. Bring her, bring her boxes of Legos. <laughs> it's or both. Look at this. It's literally Lego flowers. It's Lego flowers. <sighs> and I do. I get so excited. It's true. Look at this. I'm like, a, I'm a basically a giant child. Like, look how fucking cool this is. Look how fucking cool it is. No, Paul. Why would you put that evil on me, Paul? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Captain Jack, this brew. Captain Jack is for um, X-Ray Girl. David Tennant is for Zia. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. Look at him. He's so cute. So cute. I can't even take it. Uh, okay. I have to go grab some chapstick. I'll be right back. One time I hand squeezed an entire glass of orange juice. I took one tiny sip and spilled the rest. <gasps> That's actually a freaking travesty. Amazeballs. Thank you. Actually a travesty. I do both of them. <laughs> this is why I love you, Disbrew. <laughs> I dropped the TV part, not the console, or normally have a bad temper, but just laughed at myself for being a dum dum. I'm impressed at you for being able to just laugh at yourself. I I am very impressed at you for because I would have only. How did you handle dropping a whole fucking glass of orange juice that you hand squeeze? Because, dude, it takes a lot. That's a lot of oranges. When you get one glass of orange juice, that's like 30 freaking oranges. I know. I'm getting, I can get bouncy. Look it. Look it. They bounce. They bounce. Ah, oh, you got one. You got it, Hero Fighter. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, David Tennant is my favorite doctor. He is my absolute favorite doctor. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I absolutely love David Tennant. I think that um, Matt Smith was a fantastic too. He's right up there with me, but David Tennant will, it is and always will be my favorite doctor on every watch, on every rewatch. Travis T, what about Travis Coffee or something? Fuck yeah. I was pretty upset. I was like 13 when I did it in hair. I'm at 45 telling the story like it was yesterday. Okay, old nerdy. I totally thought that that was. I totally thought that that was way more recent. Oh, my God. Really? You hated Matt Smith, Sprue? I'm so surprised. I love Matt Smith. I thought he was such a whimsical doctor and I thought he was really good. That's surprising. That's very surprising. Um, but I mean, David Tennant will always be my favorite, but I do love Matt Smith. For me, it goes David Tennant, Matt Smith, um, Christopher Eccleston, Peter Capaldi. And then it just ends. He does have a weird face. Look, that's true. Matt Smith does have a weird face. I know that, um, extra girl also loves Matt Smith. So I'm curious to see how she feels about him taking over as the doctor. Uh, hey, what's up, Jason? Jason and Jake Dog RIP. What's up? Welcome back to the stream. What? I've never had a swirly in my life, Jonathan Copeland. Never had a swirly in my life. Don't watch Doctor Who. I just don't like Matt Smith. He was, I was just going to say, did, I was just going to say, right as I read Disbrew's comment, I loved Matt Smith in House of the Dragon, which is why I was so surprised. Yeah, Matt Smith was fantastic. I think that Matt Smith is a great actor. He has a lot of range. Absolutely. Uh, Morbi he couldn't save Morbius, though. Did any of you guys see Morbius? I wanted to watch it because I was excited just because of Matt Smith. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, this is just upsetting. He plays a fantastic villain, though. He does. He absolutely does. It's clearly not him and his act, uh, him as an actor, although I thought it was. It could have been the direction. It could have. It could have been direction being like, this is, we want to take the doctor, which I didn't mind, but obviously you do take the doctor in a more whimsical, childish uh, sort of direction, which is very, you know, very possible. House of the Dragon, I loved him as an actor. I hated everything else. And Doctor Who, I hated him as an actor and everyone else <laughs> and loved everyone else. Why can't they just give us everything in life, just brew, huh? Why can't we just have everything in life? God. 
I've never had a swirly. <laughs> it's morbid time. Oh God. I tricky. You didn't watch Morbus. Mor Morbus. Morbius. That was a real bummer. Fish fingers and custard. By the way, one of these days I'm going to try that. I'm going to fucking try fish fingers and custard. No, you wouldn't try it, Nick. Really? If we we're rewatching when Matt Smith takes over like that first episode, it's all magical. He meets a young Amy Pond for the first time, little girl Amy Pond, and we're not going to try fish fingers and custard. Come on. I like the fish fingers already. Yeah, but if you dip them in custard, it might be better. Really good custard. Eh. I'd accept Martha as a rose replacement. Um, are you talking about Martha Jones obviously replacing the first rose? Or are we talking about New Who? Because I know that there's a new uh, a rose in New Who, but I'm trying to figure out. Because I stopped watching. I stopped watching the last season. Or no, I watched one season with Jodie Whittaker. One. And it was fucking depressing. And to be fair, it really wasn't even Jodie Whittaker's fault. Although I did, this might have been direction as well. I fucking hated the way they had her play the doctor. She was so whiny and needy. And yes, every iteration of the doctor is different and they have their own uh, mannerisms. You know, obviously David Tennant is a lot darker and more uh, edgier of a doctor, whereas Matt Smith is more whimsical and fun. And Peter Capaldi is kind of somewhere in the middle, I guess. Uh, Christopher Eccleston got pretty dark too, but very charming. They all are very, are very charming. With Jodie Whittaker, completely lost all of the charm, was calling the fucking companions fam. It just made me want to vomit. For me, Rose is my favorite. Um, I take any companion over whatever new one there is. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Martha was a great companion, hot, interested in the doctor, intelligent, strong. Uh, I agree with you. I thought Martha was a great... Um, companion as well. But I do, I just loved Rose. There was something so great about Rose. Uh, and Martha was a very, very good companion. I think she just gets a little bit lost between Rose and Amy. And I like Donna too. A lot of people hate Donna, but I like Donna. I think she's very strong willed and she's very opinionated and stands up for herself. And she calls the doctor out on his shit a lot, uh, which I actually enjoy. Jenna Coleman is, is I like Clara. It's not Clara's fault. I think that the writing started to get really bad with her character and that storyline. She, she had a lot of potential. Uh, I only know Rose. She had nice eyes. There's just something about sort of the childlike innocence of Rose where she goes off and is seeing the world for the first time. And she learns a lot about herself. I think because what she's young, she's 19 when she meets the doctor, right? Something like that. Uh, Rose is the best, but Martha was a great follow up and only having one series of her was an abomination. I agree. I actually kind of was bummed when they got rid of her after one series. As much as I like Donna, I did think that it was kind of strange that they just gave her one season because she did do great. And it's funny because I know X-Ray Girl wasn't like a huge, a huge fan. Not that she disliked her, but she wasn't a huge fan until um, uh, getting into the season a little bit more. And she's like, yeah, Martha really grows on you. I was like, she will. She will grow on you. Martha got consumed with following around the single best man on the universe, but she had more of an arc to give. I agree. And I actually kind of liked the fact that she was in love with the doctor, but he wasn't giving her. The, I like that there was a different dynamic with each companion, right? So there's Rose and the doctor actually both fell in love with each other. Uh, and then you have, and I mean, the fact that Rose got uh, the spoilers, obviously extra girls not watching this. At least I hope extra girl, if you're watching this, please don't listen. Um, I really, really liked that. Rose got kind of her happy ending with at least a version of the doctor. That was something that I feel like she, she needed and she deserved. I think Martha was a good rebound after Rose. It added uh, to how important Rose was to him. Absolutely. Even with rich character of Martha was, she, sh uh, she showed how wrecked the doctor was. Yes. After losing Rose, he was not okay. Um, they started to girl boss Clara towards the end. Agreed. But 12 had a great interaction on that with her. You were an exceptional doctor, Clara. Goodness uh, goodness had nothing to do with it. I don't even remember that line. I guess it's been a little bit. Uh, yes, exactly. He's still consumed with Rose, but Martha fell inevitably with the doctor, which how something he couldn't give, which how could you not? I mean, to be honest with you, you're traveling around with a doctor that's as, as fucking charismatic and sure of himself who's lived for 900 years as the doctor who looks like David Tennant. We'd all fall in love, men and women alike. Like, of course we would. Disbrew said himself that he would. Um, so yeah, absolutely. But then the interaction there is more she's sort of pining for someone that she's never going to get. And it really does show how important Rose was to the doctor. And then you get into, obviously, this is a different iteration of the doctor, but they still remember, you know, their past people. And, and then you get Amy, who there is the friendship and the connection between Amy and the doctor is great. But her love for um, 
Why the fuck am I completely blanking on his name right now? Oh my God. Why am I blanking on his name? The doctor came from destroying two entire races, fell in love, uh, which fixed him, only for him to lose it, then for someone else who inevitably fell in love with him. He broke twice. Oh, God, the show was so good. They fucking ruined it. Rory, thank you, guys. Uh, and she was so in love with Rory. So I like that they didn't do the same trope with every single companion because it, it, it would be so easy for him to fall in love with and be with every companion, but that's such a trap to fall into, which they didn't do. Uh, this is the kind of love story Hollywood could never give us now because it featured a dark man, two women, and an actual love. And actual love! God, I know. It's just, it's so, it's depressing how things have fallen. Uh, I used to hate George R. R. Martin for not finishing the books. Now I've passed to apathy. I may still watch House of the Dragon eventually, though. Slosher, I did not read the books, so I know that at one point, the the show deviated heavily from the books because the books weren't finished so he stopped writing them that being said and people and then also you know a lot of people feel like they really rushed that last season i do think house of the dragon uh, house of the dragon is pretty great though i i recommend it how could hollywood give a love story with a man who is objectively better than two women it's funny this bro i never really looked at it that way it never felt like that you know like yes of course he was because he's lived so much longer he's lived all these different lives he's technically a genius and these are kind of normal human earth women but i never looked at it as like oh my god he's so much better and it they didn't really present it that way it was just who could be better than the doctor, right? Like no man or woman alive on earth could be, but also the women are, have parts of, I'm trying to phrase this properly, have things that the doctor has either lost or doesn't have. Like there's a certain part of them that brings the doctor alive, but also sort of grounds and humanizes him through a lot of this. So they have special qualities in their own way, I guess. But it's just, you, I, it's interesting that you say that because when you think it about, when you think about it, yeah, of course that's the case, but it doesn't feel like it, if that makes sense. And I like that. The reason I felt like that is because uh, women naturally fall in love with men who are better. No one uh, noticed because the show presented the relationship in a way that reality would. I mean, yeah. I can see that. It's called pussy. <laughs> Sasha, I'm halfway through the second book and I'm preparing for the anger following. Oh, oh. Holly, Hollywood has to have a strong female and make her a lesbian, which I wouldn't mind if she were hot. <laughs> Look, the thing is, you can have incredibly intelligent women, obviously, right? It's for some reason, Hollywood falls into the trap that to be a strong female lead, she needs to be physically strong and be able to take on men and do just what men do. And you're like, that's not an interesting character. That's just a weirdly strong woman, which I give a pass to in superhero shows. And then she can, you know, make no mistakes, which obviously isn't realistic and it's not human. The doctor makes mistakes all the fucking time. Of course he does. He's also been saved by Martha and by Rose. Um, typically he does the saving, but the point is he's not an infallible character, which is what makes him interesting. And it, the same goes for female characters in, uh, in, in, in more, um, recent TV shows and movies. But what I was going to say was I give a pass for superhero movies because they all have superpowers, right? The whole thing is they have super strength and it's, it's, there's an element of magic there. So if the girl is strong, fine, whatever. But I'm talking about like when they have some girl who's a spy who's fighting or, and, and fucking throwing around men twice her size. And you're just like, all right, sure. Uh, it's boring. It's boring. And that's not a strong female character. You can have a strong character, someone who's strong of spirit, strong of morals, very intelligent. Like all of those things exist in both genders, right? But for whatever reason, they don't want to focus on that. And they just have to be like, no, she is strong. She knows best and she can fight 10 men. And you're like, all right, well, this is just silly. Uh, Amy was a good, had a, was a good healing arc. She started to fall for him too, but ultimately choosing a man who she loved and loved her back and that she could have a life with. Yes, with Rory. And she was so right to do that. I love the relationship between Amy and Rory so much. Miss Amy Pond. I'm so excited to get there. God, I can't wait. Uh, mindless self-indulgence. Have a wonderful evening. Um, strong female lead means snarky asshole nowadays. That's how it feels. That's how it feels. 
I thought about the difference between uh, heroines and heroes. I think it doesn't just come down to the different rallies of men and women, but how they would play to their strengths. Yeah. And that's a good thing to keep in mind too. You know, it's, we all have different strengths and you sort of have to play into those because why would you not? <laughs> why would you not? So thank you so much. I keep saying you're, a, I'm at 130 bikinis for Pete's sake. 130 bikinis. Holy moly. 70 bikini shows in a row and well, almost double that of bikinis. That's almost averaging two bikinis a stream. Saw, so, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm getting like deep into Doctor Who talk. This is what's happening. It's unfortunate in the current day, most of what makes us different and different strengths cannot even be discussed. It's very silly. <laughs> it's so silly and I'll never really understand it. It's it's not a bad thing. It's not a, it's not a bad thing to have different strengths and to um, have differences. But also, they keep getting stuck on this whole thing of like equality. Um, doesn't mean that you're. It doesn't mean that you're the same. You can be equal as human beings, but it still doesn't mean that you're the same. And for some reason, that seems to get crossed a lot. See if I could do 130 bikini shows, I would. Disparu, you could. You could, I don't know how popular it would be, but you could do it. You could do it. Rory, Rory literally went through all of time to be with her. That's commitment. I know. They have They have the sweetest love story. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> ha. Uh, equality is the greatest lie ever. I'm not equal to a Kotaku writer. <sighs> I don't really look at equality in that way. I just look at it more as like everybody deserves to be treated as a human being. I don't know how people who talk about equality are thinking about it, but everybody deserves to be treated like a human being and have the same opportunities in the sense of like, if you want to work hard and go do whatever you want to do in whatever area, you have the option to go do that. If that makes sense. What's up, New Zealand guys? Welcome to the stream. I know how popular be. That's why I don't do it. Hit the like, hit the like button. Uh, just like your boobs. Not all girls your size have boobs like yours. Well, NZ guy, uh, I also did not have boobs like 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 this. <laughs> girls my size do not have boobs like this. Uh, these are bought and paid for, my friends. These titties were not on my body. Um, what six weeks ago? I get you. I'd call that foundational principles rather than equality. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, not everybody is going to be equal in the, in terms of, um, you know, ability, uh, intelligence, all, all of that kind of stuff. Everyone's not going to be equal in all those areas. It's not really the way life works, but it's just sort of more like I would never look down on someone because of you know, their gender or their fucking skin color or anything like that. It's more based on who you are as a person, right? <laughs> I will jiggle if we hit 200 likes. Hit the like button. Does any girl have boobs and ass naturally? I bet some do. Of course some do. I just feel like um, you get, you usually get one or the other. You don't get both. And if you get both, you paid for one. I kind of think that's how it works. I don't know though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. That's right. Slosher and disbrew. <laughs> Slosher's like, don't make me do this. I'll put a bikini on. I'll take this shirt off. You don't want that. No one wants that. Well, maybe some people want that. Um, people confuse equity for equality today. Equality means you uh, opportunity. It doesn't mean you will achieve your goal. There you go. There you go, Tricky. I like that. That's a good way of putting it. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, guys, this was a fucking awesome stream. I'm going to take my happy ass to bed because I'm trying Do I, if I'm not 100% better tomorrow where I can at least go do some exercising, I'm going to, yeah, take a bath with some nothing. Never mind. Never mind. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Just Bruce, someone might want it. You don't know. Someone could want it. Uh, guys, this was a fucking phenomenal stream. Thank you so much. I, I'm so happy to have some energy back. I can't even fucking tell you. I slept literally all day. So I'm glad that it, um, 
paid off. <laughs> so I'm really glad that it paid off. I am going to go through a lot of the super chats at the very least. I just want to thank all of you so much for getting me to 70 bikini shows in a row. 70, 70, and 130 bikinis. You guys are phenomenal, and I love you all so much. I need to get this. My nails are dry, irritating the shit out of me. Sorry, sorry. My fucking ADHD ass brain's all over the goddamn place. Uh, Courtney Russ starting us off with Golden Shower Boy and Backhand also with the Golden Shower Boy that you can't see here because he went straight to the my PayPal. Um, thank you so much, Courtney. Thank you so much, Backhand. Slosher, Canine Taze. Then there's more Courtney Russ. And then there's a bunch of Russell Halls. And then also Rammer. Hell yeah. Uh, more from Slosher, Johan, David Butero with the Orange Boy. Thank you so, so much. More from Slosher, a bunch of gifted subs from David Butero and Danny the Foot. You guys are crazy amazing. Saw, thank you so, so, so much. Uh, a Golden Shower Boy from Tickle King. A Golden Shower Boy. More from freaking Courtney Russ. Courtney Russ is dropping Golden Shower Boys and Green Boys all freaking night. All night. You guys are so amazing. Ravenclaw, Tricky. More from Courtney Russ, more from K9 Taze, you guys, more from Tricky, Psychotic Mongoose, more from Slosher, more from Slosher, Zia's Puffy Nips, Courtney Russ, Saw again, David Butero again, Courtney Russ and Russell Hall again, Golden Shower Boy from Mad Amos, uh, Super Sticker from K9 Taze, more from Russell Hall, Courtney Rusk, and Dusk lights, dusk lights. Thank you so much for being a member and supporting my channel for three whole months. The member stream was fucking awesome last night. I'm going back to doing those once a month, you guys. It's not always going to be a watch long. Sometimes we'll hang out and play a game together. I'm so happy that you enjoyed the watch party, though. Thank you for supporting me for three months, dusk lights. The member streams are awesome because it's a smaller, like more intimate chat, which is I I love the big chats too, but the smaller, more intimate chats are a really fun hang. Whether we're playing something or watching something, so if you guys are a member, I do member streams once a month. Uh, and I enjoy them so much, so much. Old Nerdy also with another golden shower boy. And then there was a golden shower boy from Old Nerdy. I've been showered in so many goldens. Old Nerdy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then another two from Chris Thompson, who says, as me and me. You guys are so amazing and so good to me. I uh, I don't know what I did to deserve any of you, but thank you all so much. You guys are absolutely incredible. And we finished Dobby tonight. He is 100% complete. I am so, so happy. I love it so much. Um much as I love you guys. Oh my God. And more from Tickle King. Ah, bye from Tickle King. Came back just in time. Uh, time update. Thanks for choosing my dinner. Of course, Thank you for letting me choose your dinner all the time. I have way too much fun doing that. Honestly, it's, I don't know why. It's just, I feel so powerful. <laughs> have a wonderful night, my friend. You are absolutely incredible. You are absolutely incredible, Tickle King. Enjoy the rest of your time in Vegas. I hope you enjoyed that steak. I hope you enjoyed that steak. I forgot to remind you to take a picture for me. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was fun. The flowers can be made one at a time. Dude, that's what is literally perfect. You're right. I can just do one flower set at a time. I'm so excited. We're going to start this. If I don't have a guest for a Thursday, I will start this. If I do, we'll start it on Sunday. Um for the snack stream, 8 p.m. Eastern. But otherwise, I will see you guys on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Chris Thompson. <laughs> Outlaw 2, thank you so Oh, my God. Thank you for saying that, Outlaw 2. I feel like a little chonky girl. Um, but it, I, you know what? Once I get back into the gym, I'll just be absolutely fine. Is this my steak dance? I forgot what I did for my steak dance, but whatever. I love steak. Uh, Disbrew, thank you so much for hanging out and chatting with us about Doctor Who. And, uh, and uh, modern day entertainment. It's always a fun topic for me to get into. <laughs> always a fun topic. Um, thank you guys so much. Seriously. Hi, hate breed. Hi, world peace. We'll do that one more. Let's do this. Okay. I hope everybody gets eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. And I will <clears throat> see you next Tuesday. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. I love you.